Amazing rescue story. Two heroes who sprung into action, risking their own lives to save a teenager who was being mauled by a pair of lions. They fought the animals off with a broom. ABC's Aditi Roy is here with the details of the horrific attack and then the frantic, heroic rescue. Good Some morning, Aditi. Good morning, Amy. Some incredibly frantic moments there. The teenager says she could see the lion attacking her but could not escape his clutches. It was two quick-thinking colleagues who saved her life. 18-year-old Lauren Fagan's body is marked by what she calls huge rips and holds from fangs and claws. I was screaming. Someone tried to pull me out. It didn't work. <laughs> the result of a vicious lion attack at the Mahalo Holo Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in South Africa, where the Canadian teenager was a student volunteer. He was scratching me and biting me in a playful manner but it's not it's not playful when I'm not a lion he, he basically I think that he thought that I was a lion because he wasn't growling the attack happened while Lauren was in a feeding room the male lion named Duma was behind bars she thought she was out of his reach but she wasn't my knee left knee was stuck and I was thinking that's when fear set in because you couldn't be logical anymore when your left knee is stuck and you can't pull it out and it was bleeding I just said it it's, it's stuck there. He's going to bite the whole thing off. But two of her colleagues heard her screams and sprang into action, grabbing brooms and poking at Duma and a lion in the same tree who joined the attack. I knew that lions were strong, but I don't think you'll ever understand how strong a lion is until you feel his force or her force. Lauren says her doctors tell her she'll be well enough to go home to Canada before the end of the month. Others haven't been as lucky. Four months ago, 24-year-old intern Diane Hansen was killed at a California animal sanctuary when a 550-pound male lion escaped from a feeding pen and pounced on her, killing her instantly. Lauren says the two-minute attack left her physically wounded, but not emotionally scarred. I will continue working with animals for the rest of my life, probably through volunteer work, but um, you know, nothing has changed. And Lauren was released from the hospital on Monday. She says doctors tell her she should be fully recovered by September. Thank goodness for those heroic colleagues. Thank Absolutely. you so much, Aditi.